This morning we're going to be tying a profile spinner uh, pattern um, in, in the Mother's Day Caddis configuration. So sometimes at the end of the day, uh, after a major emergence of these bugs, you'll have a good number of kind of spent adults <clears throat> on the water or just, you know, cripples. So this is a really good pattern for being able to, A, being able to see the fly on the water, especially amidst <clears throat> hundreds of other bugs, uh, but also, you know, a good floater and all that. Got a 100, uh, TMC 100 in the vise. I've got some 95 denier Lagerton thread. I've already made a thread base wrap uh, across. I'm gonna take some stripped goose by it in olive. You could use gray or black or, you know, kind of, again, matching, always matching the, the color of the bugs. We're gonna tie that in by the tip first. Wrap that a little bit forward. Advance our thread up to, uh, you know, just about the halfway, maybe a little bit past that. Um, one of the things I like to do when I'm working with biots is take a little CA glue, put a drop on your bodkin, run a little bit of a, a bead down uh, the length of the shank. Uh, this does a couple things. Um, you know, but most importantly, it reinforces that biot because it's a, a relatively fragile material, but it has such awesome, uh, you know, segmentation when you wind it forward. It's very realistic looking. Uh, I'm going to put the biot here in my hackle clips. See, I just kind of took my finger off there to kind of maximize the length there on the biot. So we've got a really kind of cool segmented olive body. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of uh, a Betis Gray Dry Fly Dub. I'm going to build up just a little tiny lump in there to kind of help me flare my wings that we're going to put in on the next step. I don't need very much here. I just need enough to kind of create the the front part of the thorax. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in the spent wings of the caddis. So we'll take uh, some uh, Dunn Zelon. We use sparkly merger yarn as well, another great product. We're just going to kind of fit figure eight that into place. So this way we've kind of created that nice delta uh, wing effect. Um, trim that off about even with the, the end of the, the biot body there. You can see that's just tied in, you know, nice, nice V shape there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to advance our thread just a little bit, and we're going to tie in a wing post uh, of McFly Lawn. Uh, polypropylene is what we're looking for here to add flotation. Um, I like white, but, you know, other people like different colors, so you could use whatever, you know, fluorescent color you wanted to. If that was going to help, you'd be able to see the fly a little bit better. Uh, we're going to cut off probably, you know, a couple inches of that material, uh, even though we won't be using that much, but we'll, uh, we'll cut off that quantity to start with. I like to trim off my ends, make them nice and even. Take my thread, kind of make a parachute type of wrap here. So depending on how much flotation you need, it will kind of dictate how high up that post you want to wrap. Um, if you're fishing them in a little bit more broken water, which I tend to do because, uh, at least around here, uh, the bugs get consumed most in areas where they're not getting concentrated into huge numbers. Um, too many naturals on the water obviously makes it difficult for, for the fish to be able to kind of select your bug over all the other ones. Uh, so I'll take my uh, bodkin again with a little, another little drop of, the, of zap. 
reinforce that post. So if you haven't done used that before, great technique for keeping that that uh, parachute post nice and you know upright and, and rigid. We're going to tie in a light blue dun feather. Um, if you're using this for other caddis hatches, which it will will work in other capacities, um, you could use you know kind of alter your your hackle color again. We'll tie that in place there. We'll go back to our dubbing. Gonna build up the rest of that thorax. Take our hackle plier. And again, match your, your flotation needs with the amount of wraps of hackle you're going to use. Made a bunch of wraps there. Now we'll tie that feather off up at the front. Snip off the excess. Take our whip finisher here now. I'll just kind of take my post and cut it to the length that I'm looking for. Make sure you get those wings kind of flare back out the side. Sometimes in the hackle wrapping pro process, you'll kind of mat them down a little bit. And there you have a completed profile spinner in the caddis coloration's. It's one of my favorites. I hope it's one of yours too.